وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى today we're going to cover the verse in سورة التوبة where Allah تبارك وتعالى said التائبون العابدون الحامدون السائحون الراكعون الساجدون الآمرون بالمعروف الآمرون بالمعروف والناهون عن المنكر والحافظون لحدود الله وبشر المؤمنين Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he informed us in the previous verse, inna Allah ashtara min al-mu'minin anfusahum. Allah informed us that he bought from the believers their souls, their nafs, their wealth. For what? Bi anna lahumul jannah. That in exchange Allah will give them jannah to al-firdaus. That Allah will give them jannah. That Allah will give them jannah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For what like it? For their nafs and their wealth. They have to sacrifice those two for Allah and Allah will give them Jannah in exchange. After that, Allah wants to give us the description. The mu'mineen who are, this is their description. Who Allah brought their, uh, from their nafs and their wealth. Allah Taala gave them Jannah in exchange. Who are those ones? What is their description? What are the beautiful attributes that they have? Allah is mentioning it here in this verse. Allah says the first quality they have is At-ta'ibuna They are Al-ladheena ashtara Allahu minhum anfusahum wa amwalahum The ones who Allah has bought from them The uh, who's Allah bought from them uh, Their nafs and their wealth for Jannah, Allah gave the jann- Jannah in exchange. They are those who are arraji'una min ma'asiyatillahi. They return back from the sins that they've committed in their life. The wrongs that they've done. Ila ta'ati and they go towards the obedience of Allah. So the first quality of these people who are going to be given Jannah for their nafs and their wealth, the quality that they have is they return back from their mistakes and their errors and their wrongs. At-ta'ibuna, at-ta'ib is a person who is a raja a person who returns back from min ma'asiyatillahi, from the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards Allah's obedience. The second that is mentioned about them is al-abiduna. They are al-ladheena dhallu lillahi wa ata'uh. They humbled themselves for Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and they obeyed him. And they did all of that mahabbatan lahu with complete love. وَاجْتَهَدُوا فِي عِبَادَتِهِ وَحْدَ And they worked hard and exerted great effort in worshipping him alone and not associating partners with him. الْحَامِدُونَ The third quality, which is الَّذِينَ The ones يَحْمَدُونَ اللَّهَ فِي جَمِيعِ أَحْوَالِهِمْ They praise Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala in all of their situations. They praise him subhanahu wa ta'ala. They know Allah has given it to them. And they know that he subhanahu wa ta'ala can take it from them. They show and they express gratitude for what they have. The next quality is as-sa'ihuna. And as-sa'ihuna means a saimuna They fast. And that's the view that Ibn Jarir al-Tabari and al-Wahidiyu and Ibn Atiyah and Ibn Kathir and al-Shawkaniyu all have chosen. That as-sa'ihuna means as-sa'imuna. Rather, Ash-Shawkani attributed this view to the majority لجمهور المفسرين to the majority of the Mufassirin you can go to Tafsir ibn Jarir Tabari you can go to Al-Basit by Al-Wahidi you could go to Tafsir ibn Atiyah you could go to Tafsir ibn Kathir you could even go to Tafsir 
by Al Imam Al Shawkani, uh, rahimahullah. And from the Salaf, the ones who said As Sa'ihuna means As Sa'imuna is none other than the noble companion Abu Huraira, Abdul Rahman ibn Sakhrin, Abdullah ibn Abbas, Aisha, Abdullah ibn Mas'udin, Sa'id ibn Jubair, Mujahid ibn Jabrin, Al Hassan al Basri, Ata ibn Rabah, Al Dahak. All of these and Qatada, Al Rabi' ibn Anas, and other than them, all of them they've mentioned that As Sa'ihuna means As Sa'imun, those who fasted. There's another group of scholars who said that As Sa'ihuna means Humul Musafiruna fil Qurubat. They're the ones who travel in good deeds. They travel around the world in things that will get them closer to Allah. They travel for things that will get them closer to Allah, ta'ala. like Kasafari lil Jihad. They travel for Jihad. والحج they travel for حج والعمرة they travel for عمرة وطلب العلم they travel for seeking knowledge or even وصلة الأرحام keeping ties of kinship visiting relatives and the scholars that chose their opinion that السائحون means those who travel for good deeds whether it be jihad it doesn't matter or حج or عمرة or طلب العلم or وصلة الأرحام the scholars that held that opinion is none other than القاسمي محمد رشيد رضا Abdul Rahman Nasir al Sidiyu and Ibn Ashur. You can find it in the Tafsir books. If you go to Tafsir al Qasimi and Tafsir al Manar, Manar by Muhammad Rashid Rida and also Tafsir Ahmad Nasir al Sidi and the Tafsir Ibn Ashur. Walidalika Ikrima, he chose that as Sa'ihuna means specifically not just Al Musafiruna uh, Fil Qurubad. Uh, Ikrima said as Sa'ihuna actually means those who travel for what? Talab, talabatul ilm. It's referring to the students of knowledge specifically. That's their quality. They seek knowledge. They travel for seeking knowledge. Ikrima, that's the view that he took. You can find it in the Tafsir Ibn Abi Hatim, the sixth volume, page 1889. From their qualities is Al-Raki'oon Al-Sajidun. They pray. Al-Musalloon Al-Raki'oon Al-Sajidun Fi Salawatim. They are prostrating in their prayer. Okay? They're bowing down in their prayer. This is referring to fi salawat al maktubati wal mandubati. It's referring to the obligatory prayers. It is also referring to the um, it's also referring to the uh, voluntary prayers. It encompasses all of that. It encompasses all of that. Ibn Jarir mentions that. Zajjaj uh, mentions it in his Ma'al al Quran. Ibn Atiyah mentions it. Qurtubi mentions it in his Tafsir. Ibn Kathir mentions it. Al Sidi rahimahullah also mentions. That view, which is Al Musalun Al Raki'un wa Sajidun fi Salawatihim al Maktubati wal Mandubati. From their qualities is Al Amirun bil Ma'roofi wa Nahun ani al Munkari. From the qualities that they have is they are Al Ladina Yamurun al Nasa bi Kulli ma Amar Allahu. They command the people everything Allah has commanded and instructed them. Wa Rasuluh and his messenger. From those things that they instruct the people is من الإيمان بالله believing in Allah وطاعتي وطاعة رسوله وطاعة رسوله obeying Allah and obeying His messenger وينهونهم and they warn those people and everyone from what عن كل ما نهى الله everything Allah has prohibited ورسوله and His messenger مثل الشرك like شرك بالله associating partners with Allah ومعصيته and disobeying Him ومعصية رسوله and disobeying the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wal hafizuna li hududillah from the quality of these people is that they are wal hafizuna li hududillah what does that mean it means wal amiruna bi amrillahi wa nahi they act in accordance to the commandments of allah and they stay away from the prohibitions of allah alladhina la yu dayyuna shay'an min ahkam shari'ati they do not forsake anything in the Jewish spirit rulings of the religion which is ordained upon them, they don't abandon it, they take it on board. That's what they do. And finally, Allah concludes by saying, وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ And give glad tidings. وَبَشِّرْ يَا Muhammad, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, give glad tidings to who? جَمِيعَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ All of the believers. For what lacking? بِكُلِّ خَيْرٍ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ The good of this world and the good of the hereafter that they're going to attain it. That's the Mu'minun, brothers and sisters. That's the quality of the Mu'minun. What is their quality? They are people who make sure that they 
did all of that. ولذلك, it's mentioned in the kalam of Sheikh Imam Ibn Jarir Tabari when he came to the part of the ayah wa bashiri al mu'minina He says, فَإِنَّهُ يَعْنِي What Allah means here is وَبَشِّرِ الْمُصَدِّقِينَ Give glad tidings to the truthful ones. بِمَا وَعَدَهُمُ اللَّهُ إِذَا هُمْ وَفَوُوا اللَّهَ بِعَهْدِهِ That what Allah has promised for them, if they fulfill their part of the bargain, if they fulfill their part of the, the, the promise that they made, أَنَّهُمْ مُوفِلْ لَهُمْ That Allah will fulfill for them. بِمَا وَعَدَهُمْ مِنْ إِدْخَالِهِ مِنْ الْجَنَّةِ Allah will fulfill for them that which He has promised for them in Jannah. Ibn Atiyah, he says, وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Here it means, هُوَ لَفْظٌ عَامٌ أُمِرَ بِهِ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم. This is a general term. The Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم has been commanded صلى الله عليه وسلم أن يُبَشِّرْ أُمَّتَهُ جَمِيعًا بِالْخَيْرِ مِنَ الله. That he, give glad, he gives glad tidings to his ummah with all of the goods that Allah has promised for them. وَقِيلَ Ibn Atiyah said, it's also even said, بَلْ هَذِهِ الْأَلْفَاظُ خَاصَةٌ لِمَنْ لَمْ يَغْزُوا This is specific to those ones who haven't done غزو لما تقدم في الآية وعد المجاهدين after يعني before that when Allah mentioned the promise that he made for the mujahideen and the virtue that they have وفضلهم أمر أن يبشر سائر الناس also to give a glad tidings to the remaining ones because the mujahideen have high levels but now we're talking to the other mu'minun give them glad tidings ممن لم يغزو those who haven't done the غزو they didn't participate in the battle بأن الإيمان مخلص من النار مخلص من النار that the إيمان will save you from the nar والحمد لله رب العالمين that it will save you from the nar going to back to a uh, a word which is السائحون if I go a bit more into it I gave the views regarding it Ibn Ashur rahimahullah, he mentions that the word as-sa'ihuna is mushtaq. This is the reason why there's dispute in it. As-sa'ihuna is mushtaq taken from the word min as-siyahati. And as-siyahati, it means as-sayru fil ardi, is to travel the earth. Wal-muradu bihi, it's meant by sayrun khasun mahmudun shara'a. It's not meaning just traveling the earth. Of course, that's not what it means. Here, it means a specific type of traveling. The traveling that's praiseworthy in the sharia. Wa huwa as-safru alladhi fi qurbatu lillahi. It is the traveling where a person is getting closer to Allah by traveling it. وَمْتِثَالُ لِأَمْرِهِ And he's following the commandments of Allah in it. مِثْلُ سَفَرِ الْهِجْرَةِ مِنْ دَارِ الْكُفْرِ أَوِ السَّفَرِ لِلْحَجِّ For example, migrating from the lands of the disbelievers. Or traveling for hajj. أَوِ السَّفَرِ لِلْجِهَادِ Or traveling to for jihad. وَحَمْلُهُ هُنَا عَلَى السَّفَرِ لِلْجِهَادِ أَنْسَبُ بِالْوَقَامِ And here, to refer to it as a safar, traveling for jihad is more befitting. وَأَشْمَلُ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And it's more general for the believers الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الْآمِنِينَ بِالْجِهَادِ بِخِلَافِ الْهِجْرَةِ وَالْحَجِّ يعني What is more fit to say is that it's traveling to jihad specifically. Because again, the context does restrict that. It does restrict that. And uh, it's talking to the believers to participate in jihad, commanding them to do so, other than hijrah and, and hajj. But another group of scholars, they don't take that. They, like, they take it as general. Also, some scholars, they mention, it means as-sa'ihuna. The sa'ihuna means a It doesn't mean bi It doesn't mean their body physically. But it also means their hearts. Fi dhikri Allahi wa mahabbati. They're traveling with their hearts in the remembrance of Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala, and loving Him. Wal inabati ilayhi, and always returning back to Him. Wa shawqi ila liqa'ihi, and looking forward to meet Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa innaw yataratabu alayha kullu ma dhukira min al-a'mal al-sariha. And from there, of course, comes under that all of the, the righteous deeds. And from the scholars that have chosen that opinion is the great scholar Ibn al-Qayyim in his kitab, Hadi al-Arwah ila Bilad al-Afrah. And he actually based his kitab on that, rahimahullah. And he says, rahimahullah, فُسِّرَتِ السِّيَاحَةُ بِالصِّيَامِ وَفُسِّرَتْ بِالسَّفَرِ فِي طَلَبِ الْعِلْمِ وَفُسِّرَتْ بِالْجِهَادِ وَفُسِّرَتْ بِدَوَامِ الطَّاعَةِ وَالتَّحْقِيقُ فِيهَا أَنَّهَا سِيَاحَةُ الْقَلْبِ فِي ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَمَحَبَّتِهِ وَالْإِنَابَةِ إِلَيْهِ وَالشَّوْقِ إِلَى لِقَائِهِ وَيَتَرَتَّبُ عَلَيْهَا كُلُّ مَا ذُكِرَ مِنَ الْأَفْعَالِ He says that. ولذلك الإمام القرطبي أبو عبد الله القرطبي He mentions, he says, قيل, it said, هم الجائلون بأفكارهم في توحيد ربهم وملوكته 
وما خلق من العبر والعلامات الدالة على توحيده وتعظيمه. He says that this is referring to those whose minds and their thoughts is يعني, traveling, tra- it's traversing in what? In the singling of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala in acts of worship and obedience. Okay? And it's also trans it's transverse it's, it's also traveling and it's traversing in looking at what Allah created and the powerful signs that are around them that shows Allah's oneness and shows Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala his greatness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he mentions Hakahu Naqash. Naqash has mentioned this. Uh, that the word it means that uh, and etc. So those are the, the views out there uh, that the Mufassirun have mentioned. I'm going to stop there, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiru wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.